In this video, we're going to look at basic audio functionality in VidBlaster. So to get started, we're going to add a new module. We're going to add the recorder module. I'll drag it across to the right hand side. Now for it to start recording, we need to tell it what audio devices we want it to use. So we'll right click on it and the audio device we want it to record is the Cirrus Logic, well in my case, the Cirrus Logic built-in microphone that's built into my laptop. We also need to tell it what, uh, what video source we want it to record. So in this instance, I've got the program window open as my main monitor, so I'm gonna select program window. So right click it again, where it says source, select program, and now it's going to record the program window. So if I press record, you'll see on the right hand side here that the VU meter has started to react to my voice and we can see that it's recording audio quite nicely. So we're just going to stop that for a second. Okay, now you might be thinking, what happens if I want to play a video? So let's add another module called the player module. Drag that over here. Now, I've got a video here from my friend Gina. I'm gonna drag it in and just drop it on the player. It's ready to go. So again, I need to right click it. Audio device, I want it to play through my sound speakers. The built-in speakers in my laptop. So let's start recording. We didn't save the last session, but that's okay. We can overwrite it. So we're recording and you'll see on the right that this, the VU meter is moving to my voice. So let's see what happens when I press play. Absolutely nothing. The video plays, but VidBlaster does not record the sound of the, of the video. It doesn't record anything in, in VidBlaster. What it's actually hoping you will do is use an external mixer and then mix everything down into one device and then record that into you in your audio recorder. So you're thinking this might be a little bit of a nuisance and that it certainly can be. So we'll just stop all of this. So there's two ways around it. Um, for some people you may have, what we're going to do is just close out of VidBlaster here. We don't need to save it. That's fine. So for some people, if you go to your control panels and open up sound properties, the sound section, and you look here in playback or recording, you should see something called stereo mix. Now, not everybody has that. You can see here that I don't. Uh, if you did have stereo mix, you could select that and it will take the microphone and the system sound and smush it all into one track, uh, which you can then put into VidBlaster and it will solve the problem. But there is a far more elegant solution and it's free and I'm going to show you how to resolve it right now. So what you need to do is open up your web browser and do a search for voice meter with double E, so M-E-E-T-E-R. And it's the top one here, VB Audio Voice Meter. Now, like I said, even if you do have Stereo Mix, this is a much better program. It gives you so much more control over mixing your microphone and your system sound. And it's absolutely free. So we're going to download it. Save it to the desktop. Okay, we're gonna close out of our web browser now. We're gonna click Extract. Okay, now we'll open the folder that we've extracted and there's our setup program. We have to run that. And yes, we want to install. Okay, we've finished installing and now we need to reboot our system. Okay, now that we've rebooted, let's have a look. Let's open up Voice Meter. 
Now this looks really cool, doesn't it? It's a great looking program. The best way to mix your mic and your system sound is to do it in two completely separate channels. So basically you have one channel for your, your microphone, one channel for your system sound. And the reason you want to do this is that you want your, your system sound to come out of your speakers so you can hear it, but you don't want your microphone to come out of your speakers, otherwise you'll create feedback loops. What will happen is that you'll say something into the microphone, it'll be replayed through the speakers, and then the microphone will pick it up again and create an infinite loop. So what's really cool about voice meter is it allows you to split it up into a main out, which is your sound speakers, and a virtual out, which is what you'll be using to go into VidBlaster. So to get started here, what we need to do is select our hardware output. So on my machine, I've got the Cirrus Logic speakers built in. So that's my main output and the virtual output side of it is taken care of. Uh, what we also have here, on uh, uh, th the virtual input is going to be your system sound. Now anything, that, any sounds your system makes, like if you're playing an MP3 or a video, will automatically come through here. Now, you see here we've, where my cursor is, we've got A and B. What we can do here is select whether we want this channel to go to either the main out or the virtual out or both. At the moment, they're both selected, so it's going to go to both outputs, which is what we want. Now, for my microphone, hardware input, we're going to select the Cirrus Logic built-in microphone. And there you go, you can see that uh, the microphone is working, the VU meter is active, and at the moment it's going out the main output and the virtual output, which is not what I want. If I turn my sound up, you can hear that it's creating a feedback loop. So what I'll do is I'll turn A off, which means that it's not coming out the main speakers, but it's still going to the virtual output, which is exactly what we want. So to test the other part of it, the system sound, we will start playing this video. Okay, so it's not configured. What we need to do is go to our control panel and select sound. And we need to make the main playback, the voice meter input. Set that as the default. Okay. All right, now when we play something, it should come back into voice meter. And there we go. We can see that the VU meter here is active. It is starting to play. And we have a great deal of control here. So if I want to turn that down, I can pull that down and my voice, my microphone is not affected at all. This is really cool also too if you have a USB microphone. Uh, it'll allow you to use your USB microphone. If you, if you do have a hardware mixer, you, it'll allow you to combine your USB microphone with your input for your hardware mixer. So it's very, very cool. So I'm going to put this back to 0 dB. Okay, so that's pretty much all set up. Close out of that video. Now let's go back into VidBlaster. Okay, what we need to do now to make everything line up, we'll say our recorder. We want it to record voice meter output and our player, the audio device, we want that to be the voice meter input. Okay, so let's try it. Let's press record. And hopefully you'll see there on the right hand side that the VU meter is responding to my voice. And now we'll click play. And you can see that it's also recording the system sound. How cool is that? Love it, love it, love it.